Hi everyone. Welcome you all. In the today's video, let us try to understand about uh, retrieving the failed test cases in Playwright. So Playwright is provided a mechanism to retrieve the test or rerun the test whenever it get failed. Okay. So normally what happens in another automation tools, if there is any test cases got failed, automation tests are got failed, we have to rerun them manually. Right. So again, if the test is having some problem, then definitely again, it will fail. But sometimes if the test is got failed because of some intermittent issues, and again, if you run the same test case, sometimes it will pass. Okay. And those type of tests, we call them as a flaky test. So let us see how can we use this particular feature in the playwright. So let me just give you a simple analysis. What is exactly retrieves means and what is flaky test means in playwright. And if I look at here, I've taken three different scenario. And suppose my test is not having any issues and uh, if it is got passed, so I don't need to retrieve the test. I don't need to rerun the test, right? And suppose some sometimes my test is got failed. My test is got failed. Indefinitely, we have to rerun this. So we have to retrieve the test. And suppose if the test case itself is having some problem, definitely after retrieving also, it will definitely fail. But in the third case, suppose my test is got failed. After retrieve the test or after rerunning the test, if it is got passed, which is called as a flaky test. So when it will happen normally, when you run your test cases or automation test cases because of unstability issues or because of some intermittent issues at the runtime, definitely your test cases will be failed. It is not because of your automation failures. The test will be failed. It, you don't have any issue with your automation test case. Your automation test case is written perfectly fine, but still it will fail because of some intermittent issues at the runtime. So those type of tests, again, we will retrieve it. We will retrieve them or we will rerun the test. Definitely it will pass. So those type of test cases, we call it as a flaky test. So initially it will fail. After rerunning, again, it will pass. And the retrieving can be n number of times. Sometimes we can run one time or two times or third time definitely the test will pass. So those type of test cases are called flaky test in Playwright. Okay. So normally in our other automation tools, normally what we will do is if any tests are got failed because of some intermittent issues, again, we have to rerun them manually. But the Playwright is provided one useful feature, which is called retrieve. So by using this particular feature, we can automatically rerun the test on failures. Okay, now I'm going to show you all three different scenarios. First, let me take one simple test case. I already created one simple test case called retrieve test spec.js. And basically this test is got created based on the page object model pattern. So in the previous videos already we have seen page object model. So I already created some page objects and by using these page objects, I have created the simple test. So basically what this will test will do is it is uh, imported all the page elements, page object classes and uh, log into the application, then go to home page and select the product and add product to the cart and then verify the product is successfully added to the cart. Mm -hmm. Now let me run this test. I'm going to terminal and open the new terminal. Okay, so in this, I'm going to run the test. So normally how to run the test, we can say npx playwright test and retrieve test spec.js and project is chromium. And then I'm running in the headed mode. So I'll remove all these options. So just run the headed mode because the test case doesn't have any issues. So it will successfully run and it will pass. So in this particular case, we don't need to rerun the test. So my test is running. So in this particular case, we no need to rerun the test. So this is one simple case. We just executed our test. It is got passed, normal test. But when rerun is required, when the retrieve is required, if my test is got failed, definitely, we need to rerun the test automatically should happen. So Playwright will do automatically. How it is possible? So we need to go to the configuration file. So Playwright config.js. And even in the documentation also, they have clearly mentioned where you have to configure that option. So in the configuration file, we have something called uh, retrieves. This is the option we have to add. Retrieves, number of retrieves, how many reruns you required so that you can add. And by default, you will see this option in the playwright uh, config file, retrieves process.env.ca. This is basically setting done by uh, done for CA environment. 
and we don't currently use i'm not currently using ci so i'm just commenting this i'm enable this option retrieves colon one so currently i just want to rerun the test only once if my test is got failed i just want to run my test only once so i can say retrieves one and uh, then what i'll do is i will just make my test failure intentionally i will make my test failure so what i can do is instead of true here i'm expecting false so definitely my test will fail after my test is got failed, playwright will automatically rerun the same test one more time. Okay, because we already configured this retrieves equal one. So playwright will automatically run our test, even though it is got failed, it will run one more time. So let me run the test. Now just observe my test is started execution. First, this is the first round of uh, execution definitely my test will fail. So once my test is got failed, Playwright will again rerun the same test case. Now we can see again, it is launching my browser. Again, it is doing login. Again, it is doing the same thing. So this is a called retrieve feature from Playwright. It is rerunning the same test case one more time. But again, definitely it will fail because I'm expecting something else. In our test case, I'm expecting something else. So the test case itself is having some problem. After rerunning is also, it is definitely failed, right? So this is a second scenario. So in the first, if it is a past, no retrieval is required. No rerun is required. Suppose my test is got failed. I'm retrieving the test means I'm rerunning the test. But again, it is got failed because of what? Test case is having issue. Because of the test case uh, problem, the test is got again failed after rerunning. Now the third case, this is most important. Sometimes our test will fail because of some unstability issues or some intermittent issues at runtime. So because of that, what happens? The test case will definitely fail. But if you rerun the test again, the same test case will definitely pass. And such type of test cases, we call them as a flaky test. In Playwright, we can call them as a flaky, flaky test. So flaky test is nothing but what? Initially, the test case will fail because of some intermittent issues at the runtime. But if you rerun the same test again, second time or third time, it will definitely pass. So such type of test cases, we call them as a flaky test. So now let us see this particular scenario. What I will do is, I will try to execute my test. And in the runtime, I will interrupt my test case. Definitely it will fail. And after that, playwright will retrieve the test and then it will pass. Okay. So I'll just try to simulate this scenario. So what I can do is go back to the VS Code editor in this. Uh, I'm going to pass my test. This is a right test. It will pass. But at the runtime, I will try to interrupt the my test execution. So definitely it will fail. After that, Playwright will automatically rerun the test. So let me try to do this. Control C. Clear the test. Then I'm running the same test one more time. Just observe here. So my test is running. I'm inter. Uh, I'm intentionally. I interpreted my test. I have intentionally interrupted my test. Intentionally, I have interrupted my test. Okay, now just observe. So definitely, my test will fail. After that, playwright will rerun the test. Just observe. The test will definitely fail. Yeah, now it is got failed, right? Now it is trying to retrieve the test again. Now again, it is open the application, login, selecting the product and adding to the cart. So now playwright is automatically rerun the test once again, even though it is got failed. So now observe here. So the second time the playwright is executed my test, it is passed actually, but it is a flaky test. So that comes under the flaky box here in this section. So test is passed, but it is a flaky test. Means what? Initially, the test is got failed. After rerun, after retrieving the test, it is passed. So this type of test is called flaky test. So Playwright will automatically handle these type of things. We no need to rerun manually every time. So as soon as my test is got failed, I can set up, I can do the configuration and automatically we can make it run multiple times. And if the test is passed in the next two cycles, we can call them as a flaky test. Okay. And uh, we, other than this, uh, if you want to run your flaky test multiple times, uh, we just specify the configuration here. Playwright config.js here we specify. 
and this is applicable for all the tests which are there in your project so because this configuration whatever changes we do in this file these changes are applicable globally that means it is applicable for all the test but i don't want to apply this for every test but specific tests i want to apply then what we can do is we can pass this option at the runtime through terminal at the time of executing your test you can pass this option so let me show you control c clear now i'm running the command additionally you have to provide that option so normally we provide npx playwright test case file project is chromium and headed mode now here iphone iphone retrieves iphone iphone retrieves and I can say equal to one. So you can specify the option directly here. iPhone, iPhone retrieves equal to, you can specify n number of options. One, two, three, four. How many times you want to re retrieve, you can specify. So this particular option uh, will automatically rerun the test whenever the failure happens. So here, this is applicable for only this particular test case. Now I'm closing my configuration file. So now I'm running my test. Again, I will interrupt the test at the runtime. It will definitely fail. After that, our play rate will rerun the test and it will make it passed. Then it becomes a flaky test. So let us try to specify the number of retries I want and then plus enter. Intentionally, I will interrupt the process. Here you can see I'm interrupting the execution. So definitely my test will fail after intermit, after uh, disturbing the test. You can just look at this. I have interrupted my test execution at the runtime. So definitely it will fail my test. And after failing, it will retrieve the test and again it will pass. It's taking, yeah, now it is failed. Now it is trying to retrieve the test. Again, it is doing login and everything. Yeah, now my test will pass. In the second rerun, my test is got passed. And uh, now we can just look at the result again. It is comes under flaky test. Flaky test in the in the what is a flaky test means the test is failed earlier. Now after retrieving the same test is got passed without doing any changes. And those type of test we call them as a flaky test. So this is a, one of the most important feature, very useful feature provided in Playwright. In other automation tools, we have to do it manually. If bulk number of test cases you have executed and some of them are got failed, you have to again consolidate all the failure tests. And again, you have to rerun them. Manually have to do. But in Playwright, just providing this option, which will automatically rerun the failure test. In second run or third run, it is passed. The Playwright consider those tests as flaky tests. Okay. So that is all about this video. And in the next video, we'll discuss another things. Thanks for watching.